All right. Going to Missouri. Missouri floats program to deputize citizens as migrant bounty hunters and and give a thousand dollar incentive to any illegals that they point out to authorities. I think I see one over there. Yep. Is that what we're doing? Let's get into it. Here we go. How about this next one? A proposed bounty hunter bill is putting the spotlight on immigration in Missouri. It aims to hand out big bucks for those handing over undocumented immigrants. And the man behind it is Republican state senator-elect David Gregory. And it's already facing backlash. News Nation's Xavier Walton joins us live with more. Xavier, this sounds like something from the wild, wild west. Uh, Is this even legal? (laughs) Hey, Marky, good morning. Who cares? Let's do it anyway. I like it. Time you start throwing out the word bounty, you certainly think about the wild, wild west. But right now, as of right now, uh, this is merely a a proposal in the Missouri State uh, Legislature offering up cold, hard cash, if you will, um, for people to turn in undocumented immigrants. We are talking about Senate Bill 7-2. We're going to break it down for you. It would create an online portal for the public to report undocumented immigrants to the state's highway patrol. If that call or, say, message leads to an arrest, that person who notified authorities would be eligible for a $1,000 reward. SB 72 would also create a Missouri Illegal Alien Certified wow. Hunter Program allowing wow. everyday citizens to become bounty hunters for immigrants without the proper documents. Funding would come from the state and immigration attorneys are already raising red flags. <laughs> you think? I don't know how you do something like this without just stopping every brown person and demanding to see their papers. You're going to have some Puerto Rican walking down the street gets tackled, and people are going to be like, we caught one. And they don't know that Puerto Ricans are Americans. All right, obviously this comes as President-elect Donald Trump has promised mass deportations on illegal immigrants on day one. Trump saying repeatedly he would utilize the military to, to deport nearly 11 million people believed to be in the United States illegally. Now, some Democratic mayors of sanctuary cities like LA, Chicago, and Denver say they plan to defy those deportation orders Denver Mayor Mike Johnston even saying he's not yep. being jailed for resisting mass deportations to that. Trump's suit for border czar Tom Homan says, quote, he's willing to go to jail. Uh, I'm willing to put him in jail. Now, the new session Good. for Missouri lawmakers, Good. To weigh in, uh, if the bounty program could become a reality, actually starts in June, starts on June 8th. But Marky, you know, this really does point to, to something else. Um, states are already preparing preemptively for when Donald Trump takes office on January 20th. And starts with those mass deportations, Mark. If you're enjoying this content and you want to see more, check out ReasonableTV.com. We've got some good stuff on there. Let's check out this one. Charity is handing out free crack pipes on Skid Row in Los Angeles. And addicts sell them to buy more drugs. Now, this is harm reduction at its finest. All harm, no reduction. What's it going to cost you to see this content that we can't release on other platforms well we go on over to 3.99 39.99 a year 14 day free trial check it out i'll see you there all right let's take a look at the article <laughs> bounty hunter style system was proposed by senator elect david gregory who wants to allow regular bail bond agents to be certified to go after those who cross the border illegally all right. I mean, if if you've got illegal um, criminals, I mean, how is this any different than, you know, United States citizen criminals? Criminals are criminals, right? And this is what has been repeatedly stated by Honan, the new border czar, and Trump. Hey, we're going to go after the criminals first. So that's why I really don't have an issue with this. Could this get wildly out of control? Yeah, it probably could. Thousand uh, dollar, you know, to somebody. I mean, how 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 are you going to do that? How are you get the mechanics of all that? Especially if you're talking about deporting, you know, a, a million people. That those are my guesses. Half a million people. Even if you start deporting two, three hundred thousand people at a at a shot. I mean, the mechanics of that are work that through. Plane, you know, plane trains and automobiles work that through <laughs> going out of the country what's that look like yeah that's quite an operation we've got other stuff going on in the country besides just deporting people right industries are going to be rocks you're going to have all kinds of stuff and i'm not saying hey don't do it but i think we need to focus more on the fact that those being thrown out of the country are people who should not be here 
period. Full stop. Mic drop, right? Just boom. Gregory introduced the Senate Bill 72 on December 1st, and it includes bars for undocumented migrants on receiving benefits. Can't get them, a driver's license, or the ability to be a legal resident of Missouri. Other states will follow. American Families United President Ashley Dejuajado said in a statement that the bill's introduction was an alarming sign of things to come in regard to anti-immigration policies. Well, I would say that there has been an alarming last four years of illegals streaming through the southern border. How about that? Oh, and now we've got a little pushback on it with maybe what some would view as just a scooch of maybe a little bit more of a hardcore policy than necessary. Others would say, you got let 20 million illegals into the country. You're going to have to have some extremism to push back and maybe get some of the bad guys out of the country, out of the country. Now, what you're seeing in mainstream media is that there's that, that it's oh they're just going to be separating families left and right oh this is horrible we won't know we won't know the difference between a latino versus a puerto rican god yeah. well you're going to have to figure it out i mean and you're going to have some collateral fallout you're going to have some damage that's what happens when you let millions of people unvetted into the united states and just grant them parole that's what happens. This is the pushback. This is that flip side. So you're going to have to deal with that. Oh, this is terrible. Well, this wouldn't be happening if you wouldn't have let millions and millions and millions of people stream into the United States just unbridled. So you, this isn't a problem that Republicans created. This isn't a problem that Trump created. In fact, he had some of the lowest levels of illegal immigration or legal entry into the United States in what, 45, 46 years? It was Biden and all his policies that allowed all this stuff to happen. And now here we are, Sleepy Joe still being in office. A bounty system where Missourians would be empowered to report neighbors, colleagues, and classmates they suspect of being non-citizens will create absolute chaos and division. Uh, okay, all right. But some would say, hey, how's that working out with Trend Aragua? Yeah. How about the mothers and fathers of those young ladies who were raped and murdered? I mean, is that chaos? Yeah. So, you know what? There's a flip side to all of this. And now we're on kind of that other side of, you know what? We got to do something. You got to get some of these bad hombres out of here. And deport, deport, deport. I mean, that's fair. It's estimated there are around 20,000 Missourians in mixed status families with many of the immigrants in those families having lived in the U.S. for nearly 20 years. Okay, I, I don't think we're looking at deporting those folks. I mean, those numbers get thrown out. But by the time the United States government and Trump and uh, Musk and everybody else gets done deporting the criminals, you know what I mean? It's just the logistics on that. I think that's about what you're going to do. And you're going to say, okay, yeah, we, we got a, we got a percentage of the bad guys out. That's what we're focusing on. Much beyond that, you know, deporting 8 million people, not going to happen. It's not going to happen. I hate to disappoint you if that's what you're hoping for. But if, you know, I, I think ideologically, you're just hoping to see just a bunch of people deported, but literally think through the mechanics on that. What would that look like? Yeah, problematic, problematic. Where are you going to send them to? Who's going to take 8 million people, right? We're already talking, uh, United States government is talking about, well, you know, where are we going to send the illegals that are in our country now that their own countries won't take them back? Like Venezuela, and we don't have any diplomatic relations with them. Are they just going to all hang out in Mexico? Mexico's probably, you know, not going to bend the knee to that extent, even though they're the bending in the knee pretty hard right now because Trump said, hey, how about a little tariff? And then you got Canada doing the same thing. Ah, tariff, that would destroy us. Ah, all right, we'll make you the 51st state and you can be governor. I mean, that's literally what Trump said to Trudeau. So funny. Gregory's proposed bill would create a Missouri Illegal Alien Certified Bounty Hunter Program. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I get it. I get the idea. I get the direction. 
<laughs> How would that work out, though? I mean, that's just, that's what I think. Uh, can't you just see Dog the Bounty Hunter just going ham? Where's the next illegal alien? Can't you see that? I mean, you just, you know, your mind just wanders and it takes you down. Hey, I watched a lot of Dog the Bounty Hunter over the years. Maybe I could go and do that. I'd catch me an illegal. You know, that, that's that's not the road we want to go down. We want to get out the people that are literally committing crimes against U.S. citizens, and then we'll work out the rest, right? So $1,000 payouts for those who make eligible reports to the state highway patrol. Migrants would then be incarcerated without eligibility or probation or parole. Well, that's kind of being judged um, without a jury. So, um, Okay. Okay, that's where this gets a little extreme, even for my taste. But I think it's extreme because there has been, you know, the U.S. border has been just so violated for so many years, and all these folks just shipped into towns that, you know, just what do we do with all these folks? Why are we taking on thousands of people? Springfield with the Haitians, perfect example. Small town taking on tens of thousands of Haitians. What's up with that? Aurora, Colorado, you know, Denver, Colorado next door, just overloaded with the illegals. And then they, you know, get into Aurora and then all of a sudden, ah, it's your imagination that Trent Aragua is here and taking over three apartment complexes. Really? Because, um, yeah, those guys running around with guns, breaking through on the apartment complex units, they didn't seem to be a figment of YouTube's imagination, did they? Uh-uh, no. The harm this would cause to mixed-status families and their communities cannot be understated. Hey, there's going to be some fallout. I'm sorry. There's going to be some families broken up. There just is. There just is. And that's what happens when you've got a you know, immigration policy that just got literally thrown out the door. I mean, just thrown out the door. Let's see what else we got here. <laughs> Local attorney Javid Kazizali told First Alert 4, investigates that Gregory's proposal was a solution looking for problems, describing it as a Nazi Germany stuff. Uh no, deporting illegals, people who shouldn't be here, that's that that's different. So it's interesting though that the other side always brings up Nazi Germany stuff, isn't it? I mean, just straight up fascism. Why why, why are we going there? Why, why why are you doing that? Yeah. Anyway. There's no easier way to harass people of color than to allow a phone number or one call and claim that they are not here documented and expect police to crash through their doors. This is ripe for abuse. This is purely harassment. Well, this um, that wasn't uh, this wasn't Missouri's doing. If Missouri had the option, they would say, hey. Um, let's have a secure southern border. And, you know. Democrats for how many years? Four years have told us. Literally the first two years, we were told time and time and time and time and time again, Southern border is secure. It's all good. It's secure. It's secure. And then, you know, quarter four of 2023, you got 300,000 come across the border in December, in December alone. And it was all over the media. People were flying drones saying, hey, look at them all go in the fields here. I mean, that was just crazy. And we were told, we were literally told by Democratic leadership that the border is secure. Kamala Harris, hey, have you been to the southern border? No, but I haven't been to Europe either. And you're left with, okay, that doesn't help the southern border issue. There's a real crisis going on there. What are you doing about it? I haven't been to Europe. And we all know how that ended up, right? And, you know, the United States basically said in the 2024 elections, Sudden border policy is a big, big deal. And Democrats, you have done jack all nothing about it except increase the liability of safety issues here in the United States and of funding and of, you know, money and taxpayers' money being spent. Chicago, perfect example of that. They are wildly unhappy with Let's Go Brandon Johnson because they see him taking their taxpayers' money and not you know, putting priority on those who are here first, which are the citizens paying these bills. Instead, all this money goes to these illegals. This is that pushback. This is that pushback. 
Yeah, I think it's time has come. Everything goes in a cycle, right? Well, the cycle of just letting people in willy-nilly to create their shenanigans, that seems to be over. And what's crazy in all of this, what is absolutely wild in all of this, Trump's not even in office yet. Not even in office. But Honan, I mean, he just, he's a bulldog, right? That guy, ah, get out of the way. Get it, just, we're going to do this. Get out of the way. It takes something like that. It takes somebody like that to push back on all of this just absolute Mickey Mouse nonsense going on at the southern border. All right. That's all I got for you on this one. Thanks so much for being here. I'll catch up with you in the next one. Bye for now.